Hey there, welcome to Rise Up Namobia. Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the inverse of a function. Now, I am your host, Metyanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good, hashtag dark and lovely underscore, walk by faith and not by sight. So, what do you do when you are given a certain function and you are asked to find its inverse? Now, how do you know that you are being asked to find the inverse? So normally we'll say f of x is equals to x cube or x to the power 3 over here. Now when you are asked to find the inverse, how you would know that you are being asked for the inverse is that the f will have like an exponent of negative 1. Okay, so say for example here you are asked to find that f with the exponent negative 1 there and then with the x. So this basically means you are being asked to find the inverse of f of x. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's quickly write down f of x here. So f of x is equals to x cubed. How you find the inverse is that rule number one, replace the f of x with y. Okay, now after you do that, exchange wherever you see an x, write a y, and then wherever you see a y, you write the x. So for example, this y. We rewrite it as x. And then here where there was a x, we put a y. Okay? Now after that, make y the subject of the formula. Now if you don't know how to make a certain letter subject of the formula, check out the link down below in the description. It will be written how to make a certain letter subject of the formula. Okay? So let's do just that. So making y the subject of the formula will have to cancel out this small 3 on top. So how can we cancel that small 3? By finding the cube root of y, y cube, basically to cancel out that small 3, okay? Now remember whatever you do on one side, you need to do on the other side. So we also find the cube root of x. So basically this will cancel out the small 3 or the exponent and you'll be left with y is equals to what? y is equals to the cube root of x. So basically, this cube root of x is your inverse. Okay? So the, the inverse of f of x is equals to the cube root of x. And just like that, you are done. Easy, isn't it? Let's take a look at another example. Now say for example you are given a function f of x is equals to 2x plus 4. Then you are asked to find the inverse. So we rewrite the function and then we take f of x away with and then we replace it with what? With y. Okay? And then wherever we see a y, we will put what? We will put the x. And then wherever we see an x, we will put the y. So let's do that. So you can see this was a y, so we make it x. And this was a x, we make it what? We made it y. And then from here, we make y the subject of the formula. So how do we make y the subject of the formula? By getting y to be alone on one side. So let's remove this positive 4. We're going to take it to the left hand side where it will become negative 4. So it will be x minus 4. Where did we get this minus 4? It came from this side. Okay. Again, if you're not understanding how to make why the subject of the formula, just go check out the link first uh, in the description, okay? So from there we are left with 2y is equals to x minus 4, but we don't want 2y, we want y alone, so we need to cancel out these two. How do we do that? By dividing by 2. Now remember, whatever you do on one side, you need to do it on the other side, so we also divide the side by 2. So it will cancel out these two, and you will be left with y is equals to x minus 4 divided by 2. So this is your inverse. Okay? So the inverse of f of x here is x minus 4 divided by 2. Okay? And that's your final answer. So before we look at another example, do you find the videos on this channel helpful? If yes, please do support the channel by giving us a huge thumbs up and by subscribing. Because it does help with the algorithm. 
okay, so that other students can also find the channel. And also do share with other students as well on your class, WhatsApp groups and so forth. So back to the lesson. So here we have find the inverse of the function below. f of x is equals to x cubed plus 7. So how do we find the inverse? Rewrite it, but replacing f of x with y. And then from there we exchange. Wherever we see y, we put what? We put a x. Wherever we see x, we put a y. And then from there, we make y the subject of the formula. So how do we do that? By getting y alone on one side. So we need to remove this positive 7. We take it to the other side, it becomes negative 7. And then we are left with y cube. So obviously to get the y alone, we will need to find the what? The cube root of y. Or y cube. Now remember whatever you do on one side, you need to do on the other side. So we also find the cube root of the expression on the left hand side. So from there... This will cancel out and you'll be left with y is equal to the cube root of this expression, which is x minus 7. So basically, that is our what? It's our inverse. Okay? So the inverse of f of x is equal to the cube root of x minus 7. And this is your final answer. Okay? Easy, isn't it? Now let's take a look at another example. Since we've been talking too much about f of x, now remember, a question can come with any letter, okay? The previous examples have been f of x, f of x, you know, but now this example here, we have, say for example, g of x. Then you are being asked to find the inverse of g of x. So here we have g of x is equals to 7x plus 18 divided by 2. So how do we find this inverse? I'll give you a chance to pause the video and try finding the inverse of g of x, okay? So pause the video now. Okay, so for g of x, basically remove or replace g of x again with y. Okay, and then from there, wherever you see a y, you place an x, and then wherever you see a x, you place a y. So let's do that. So this was y, we made it x, and then this was x, we made it y. So from there, we make what? We make y the subject of the formula. So how do we do that? Now... There is different ways of doing this, but one way is you can cancel the denominator, which is 2. How do we cancel this denominator? By multiplying this side of the equation with 2, which is the denominator. Now remember, whatever you do on one side, you need to do it on the other side as well. So we also multiply that side by 2. So this 2 will cancel out by the one we multiplied, and then we will be left with 2x is equals to the expression on top. Okay, so the expression on top is 7y plus 18. Now remember we want to get y alone, so we have to remove this 18. We take it to the other side where it will become negative 18. So it will be 2x minus 18. Okay, equals to 7y. Now again, we are not looking for 7y, we want y alone. So we need to cancel out this 7. How do we cancel out this 7? We cancel it out. By dividing by 7. Okay? Now if you divide by 7, remember whatever you do on one side, you need to do on the other side as well. So we also divide this side by 7. So on the right hand side it will cancel out. And then this basically on the left is our inverse. Okay? Because now y will be equals to 2x minus 18 divided by 7. So our inverse which is the inverse of g of x, is equals to 2x minus 18 divided by 7. Okay? So, that's your final answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
please do like subscribe turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to higher heights apart we all stay behind cheers